Ephesus. The keys for identifying Ephesus, the coordinating, managing, testing, and overall supervisory Church of God. The keys for identifying Ephesus are as follows. 1. Revelation 2, 1 Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write. 2. These things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand. 3. Who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks, as first love. This implies doing God's work as a first love. But some did not follow this rule. This is what Jesus said about them, Nevertheless I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. The first key, Revelation 2, 1 unto the angel of the church of Ephesus, identifies the head of Ephesus, the coordinating branch of God. We can liken this position to that of a director, while the members are managers as you will soon find out. Angel of the church equals head of this church. The second key, these things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, gives the function of the church of Ephesus, as a firm coordinating body responsible for the overall supervision of God's work, the seven candlesticks, the seven branches of God. This is a managerial position. Holdeth the seven stars in his right hand equals a very firm overall supervision of the seven candlesticks. First, he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand implies the work and power of Jesus Christ as the heir and head of God's work. Second, for this church this means it supervises all the seven churches, branches of God firmly because it is populated only by the sons and daughters of God, the heirs to God. This does not mean the other churches are not populated with them, but they are made up of only perfected beings. Therefore, those who say that angels serve mainly as messengers are ill-informed. They inform in the capacity of a manager, to synchronize all of God's work, for the messenger angel is serving in his or her capacity as a coordinator of God's work. The third key, coordination of God's work. Midst equals coordination. Who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks? Midst of the seven golden candlesticks means being in the inner core of things, that of the seven branches of God. This is a managerial role. Even in an earthly organization, the more we climb the more we are taken into confidence in that organization. These are senior managers, but less than the directors, who are the head angels, yes. We have now come to the reward section of the church house of Ephesus, the testing, managing and supervisory branch of God. Thus when Jesus Christ blamed the church of Sardis, the inspectorate, standards, watchmen and women of God, today's supervisory bodies, journalists, standards organizations, pastors and so on, he is saying so in a managerial capacity, the work of the sons and daughters of God, Revelation 3 to be watchful, and strengthen the things which remain, that are ready to die, for I have not found thy works perfect before God. The tree of life was the ultimate reward of God for perfection in the Garden of Eden, and it is still the ultimate reward for perfected humans, the corn of wheat, the seed of God. These are the sons and daughters of God. Although Adam and Eve were tricked by Lucifer in the Garden of Eden, 144,000 new first fruits of God, called Christ the first fruits, will enter into the Garden of Eden and eat the tree of life. This confers immortality on them. From then onwards, they become immortal beings. To help us understand the human journey from a lay man or woman, to the perfected human, the angel of God, I have written four books which I will be releasing from 30th August. They are. 1. The Book of Human Development. 2. Human Progression on the Development Scale of God. 3. The Administration of Human Husbandry. 4. Evolving from a layman to prophethood. The Kindle editions will be available at Amazon, while the EPUB format will be available at Lulu. The Tree of Life, the Tree of Eternal Life and of Immortality is everyone's dream. Because immortality or an eternal life cannot be given by science nor by doctors. But it can only be gotten through following the precepts of God and laid down rules. Every aspect connected with the journey to the tree of life is written in these books. From the newly planted human on earth, right up to the status of the perfected humans, 
the angels. The tree of life in the middle of the garden of God is your right of life. Go for it.